Hey everybody, I'm Justin with VMP Performance, and today on the dyno, we have got a purple demon. Plum crazy, right Matt? Plum crazy purple. A purple demon on a dyno at VMP. Just about as crazy as a Hellcat Swap Miata on the dyno at VMP. So, this is something we've been playing with for a little while. Everybody knows we love 2650s, and this car has a Magnuson 2650 2.65 liter TVS supercharger on it. And we're playing with throttle bodies. The stock throttle body is like a 92 or 95 millimeter. And we all know with positive displacement blowers that you gotta get as much air as possible into them or they just don't make power. We have been playing around with this 105 millimeter throttle body as well. The 105 is great, especially for the stock blower, if you can find one. However, this 2.65 liter TVS can move much more air than the stock twin screw or even the Demon 2.7 liter twin screw. We know that from everything we've done with our Mustangs, our GT500s and our Coyotes. We've seen 11, 12, almost 1300 rear wheel horsepower out of the 265 TVS. So we thought to ourselves, hey, let's put one on a Demon and let's try to make similar horsepower numbers. Well, we're not quite there yet, but we're working on it. When we found out that there was a 112 millimeter throttle body coming out from Kong Performance, we got our hands on one, and uh, I believe we're one of the first people to get one from Greg. I had to actually fabricate by hand an inlet to accommodate the 112. So I took the regular Magnuson inlet, I welded this flange on here, I ported it all out. We might have a picture we can flash up on the screen and show you, but it is a ton of air into those beautiful TVS rotors. We have got Matt behind the keyboard. He's gonna get some things adjusted in the tune. We're gonna make a poll. We're gonna see what it does. This is an entirely new world for us at VMP. Obviously not new to supercharging, but we are very new to Hellcats and Demons. Matt has tuned a ton of them, so he's a great resource. I want to figure out how to get as much horsepower out of this 265 as we can, just like we've done with our Coyotes and GT500s and our VMP Gen 3 line of superchargers. So we're going to make a dyno pull. Matt, what do you think it's going to make? Uh, over 900. Okay, <laughs> okay. Prediction for Matt is over 900 rear wheel horsepower. We know that the stock throttle body just can't feed this 265 TVS. We're gonna see what Greg's new 112 does. I'm gonna hop in the car, we're gonna make a pull. See you in a second. All right, so you dyno Hellcats and Demons in six gear. Yep. Is that actual one-to-one, -one, Matt? Yes. Okay. I'll just get over 150. I always wait till it's about 150 to make the pull. How are the downstream air temps? Uh, 109 right now. We've been really impressed with how good the air temps have been with the Magnuson setup. Because it actually comes with a whole new lower intake and a bigger intercooler core. The fittings on it are huge. Everything about it's great. Ready? Yeah, let's do it. Let's see what it does. Intake air temp started at 111, finished at 143. So, <laughs> so we saw 111. So we saw about uh, 32 degrees rise in air intake air temperatures. The, no, less than 111 to one. Yeah, 143. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Yeah, 32 degrees of air temperature rise on a dyno pull. Not bad at all. No. Boost started at about 20 and then rose to 24 and kind of hugging there for most of the pull. All right, so we're about so. 24 pounds of boost. And this car is still on a stock fuel system. It's still on a gasoline-based fuel. It's not on corn. The motor's bone stock, right? Yes. Okay. Stock camshaft, stock cylinder heads, everything. These Demon and Hellcat motors, they're like a modern-day GT500 to equate it to the Ford world. Yeah. So pistons and rods, forge, they take a ton of boost and uh, can support a ton of horsepower. Well, 
get, get out and go take a look at the dyno graph? Yeah. All right, let's go over to the dyno computer. Matt, what did it make? Uh, it looks like 914. That is definitely up there. I know yeah. Matt knows Hellcat and Demon dyno numbers better than me. We are not gonna stop here at 914. We know no. what the 2650 blower is capable of. We finally got a decent sized throttle body on this Hellcat, this Kong 112 millimeter. We're gonna keep pushing it. We'll keep everybody updated on the results of our Hellcat and Demon tuning and supercharging. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you next time.